Figure AI says it's ready to send millions of its humanoid robots into the world. The OpenAI-backed startup just shared new footage of an autonomous fleet of Figure 2 robots performing industrial tasks for BMW. Figure is sending its robots to the luxury automaker's plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina, after a successful pilot earlier this year. Figure's second-generation robot was announced just three months ago. According to the startup, the Figure 2 is four times faster, seven times more accurate, and much more reliable compared to its trial run. The robots are running about 8,000 placements per day fully autonomously. The footage appears to be from a physical twin of a section of the South Carolina plant, where a fleet of Figure 2 bots will begin working full-time in January 2025. Figure says it trains the robots daily with the setup, as well as virtually with NVIDIA's digital twin technology. Founded just two years ago, Figure AI is aggressively expanding its operations as it seeks to dominate the emerging humanoid robotics market. Figure founder Brett Edcock just shared footage of the OpenAI-backed startup's new Bay Area facility. Dubbed Building 1, it has 10 times the square footage of Figure's Sunnyvale headquarters. Edcock said the space is needed to accommodate new engineering headcount, more robot labs, production manufacturing, and data collection. Figure plans to move into the new building in February 2025. From there, Edcock is aiming sky high with plans to launch new facilities every 90 days to scale production of autonomous humanoid robots. Engineers are busy developing Figure's next-generation robot, which will presumably be called Figure 3. Figure is hiring more than 100 engineers, including systems integrations, electrical, controls, and embedded software roles. Ad Koch says Figure has received more than 33,000 applications. Figure is racing to mass production alongside a growing array of companies eager to populate the world with their robots. Adcock said the project is mostly software-bound, meaning progress depends more on code improvements than hardware adjustments. This is ideal because shipping software updates is faster than resolving hardware issues. Many robots are already running autonomously for several hours each day at Figure's Silicon Valley office. Tesla is also moving toward mass production of its humanoid robot, Optimus. The EV automaker plans to produce a limited quantity of Tesla bots in 2025, with wider availability in 2026. To tide people over, Tesla just released a $40 action figure of the Tesla Optimus. With 40 individual parts and 20 points of articulation, Tesla says the figure is precision engineered to look and move like the Gen 2 Tesla bot. Predictably, it sold out almost immediately. And apparently, Kim Kardashian has met an Optimus bot. Do this. I love you. Oh, you know how to do that? Okay. What should we do? Go running. Let's go for a run. Do you know how to do... Oh, you are Hawaiian. Okay. Figure recently gave Herbert Ong host of the Brighter with Herbert podcast, a private preview of the Figure 3 robot. And uh, yeah, Figure 3 is impressive. I know I'm not allowed to talk about it, so I'll restrain on that, but uh, it's a huge leap. We will, um, yeah, our goal is as we enter next year is to really start scaling out the number of robots we have pretty substantially. Um, there, um, I think we're hitting an inflection point now where um, the robots are really working really well. Uh, we need to learn how to do uh, production at high rate. We need to learn how to get costs down substantially, and we need to learn how to run, run thousands of robots. And He said the Figure 3 will be the startup's first production-level robot. Plans call for production at scale starting in 2025, with the goal of eventual mass production and deployment. The third iteration is designed for high-rate manufacturing and large-scale use in industrial settings. Figure is seen as perhaps the top competitor to Tesla, as both companies race to mass-produce their humanoid robots. Tesla has an edge in going to market because of its experience in large-scale manufacturing and its in-house AI. I think it's a space where the most important, perhaps, businesses in our lifetime are going to be built and the biggest. So we need to be very thoughtful about this. And um, Tesla is certainly a really great, thoughtful company. Elon Musk recently said the Tesla Optimus humanoid robot will likely need three major iterations to reach a highly refined version. Um, so the you could expect that in high volume, uh, and, and I'd say that you also probably need three three production versions of Optimus. So you need to 
you refine the design th three, at least three major times, and, and then you need to scale production to sort of the million unit plus per year level. Mm. And I think at that point, the cost, the, the, the you know, the, the, the labor and materials on Optimus is probably not much more than $10,000. Musk expects the robot to reach a production scale of 1 million units annually within five to six years. At, at scale volume with three major iterations of technology. And, and so if a small car, you know, costs $25,000, you know, it, it's, it's probably like, a, I don't know, $20,000 for, for an Optimus, for a humanoid robot that can be your, your body, like a combination of R2-D2 and C-3PO, but better. Yeah. Um, the OpenAI-backed figure announced its first AI robot in March 2023. The second iteration was unveiled in August 2024. Figure calls the Figure 2 the most advanced and first commercially viable autonomous humanoid robot on the planet. During another recent interview, Adcock told futurist Peter Diamandis the robot will be available for home use after it gains footing in manufacturing. Three years, five years, eight years? Uh, I would say within the next three years, we'll definitely have robots piloting homes. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I want to volunteer early on. Yeah. I'll pay. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll probably start with some lock homes here in our facilities and, and start, you know, getting the bugs worked out, understanding how to, so the system architectures all work. But uh, I, I'm, I'm interested in seeing what problems we face that we're not prepared for that are limiting our ability to get in the home long term as well. Adcock believes the robot could eventually cost about $20,000, which is the same price point Tesla is targeting. The figure two has tripled the computing power of its predecessor. Standing about 1.7 meters tall, the robot has six cameras to see and understand its surroundings. It communicates with people using built-in microphones and speakers. Its human-like hands can carry up to 50 pounds. Its foot design is more human-like than the figure one, suitable for a sneaker fitting. Its battery runs for about five hours, a 50% improvement. Figure AI accelerated the robot's development using Isaac Sim, a reference application built on NVIDIA's Omniverse platform. The synthetic data was used to design, train, and test the robot. According to NVIDIA, a second RTX GPU on board makes the robot three times faster at performing AI tasks compared to the original model. The Figure 2 recently completed a successful round of testing at the BMW plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina. During its trial, the robot inserted sheet metal parts, which requires considerable dexterity that couldn't previously be achieved with robots. The robot will be back to work at the plant permanently starting in January 2025. The founder told TechCrunch the robots work nearly 24 hours, seven days a week during the pilot. The figure two was one of two humanoid robots recognized by Time Magazine for its 100 best inventions of 2024 list. The other was Digit by Agility Robotics which is also preparing to scale production of its industrial bipedal robot. During the Web Summit conference in Portugal, the company announced its new partnership with Schaffler, a global motion technology company. They make a lot of automotive parts and aviation parts. We also have some Schaffler parts in Digit. Um, Schaffler is going to be both an investor and a customer of ours. Wow. They are planning to put humanoids in all of their global network, which is about 100 sites. Schaffler Group, based in Germany, made a minority investment and agreed to purchase Agility's humanoids to deploy in its 100 plants worldwide by 2030. Schaffler has around 115,000 employees globally. They very much are um, excited about this technology. They see it as very uh, helpfully disruptive and we're thrilled to be working with them. The conglomerate operates manufacturing plants across Europe, North America, South America, Asia, and South Africa. Companies under Schaffler include INA, which focuses on bearings and systems for automotive and industrial use, FAG, which makes precision bearings, LUT, which specializes in clutch systems and transmission components, and Barton Corporation, which is known for precision aerospace bearings. Agility is preparing to manufacture the next revision of Digit at its RoboFab facility in Salem, Oregon. This may look like your average American warehouse, but Agility Robotics claims it's actually the world's first factory for humanoid robots. Let's go check it out. According to the Salem Reporter, Agility plans to hire 500 workers to produce the robots. 
the 70,000 square foot factory can produce up to 10,000 robots per year. In its first year, the company plans to build hundreds of digits, with more volume to follow as demand increases. Thank you, Digit. Yeah, that is heavy. How many times do you think in an average day? Every somebody... 19 seconds for eight hours straight. But Digit's like not even breaking a sweat. Remember to subscribe to stay up to date as the humanoid robotics market advances rapidly.